guys welcome to today's video so we are going to be doing a hair rinse today i'm using bay leaf i'm using ginger i'm using onions and i'm going to be using clove okay these are the ingredients we'll be using for our hair rinse i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe like share and comment so guys let's get started my pot because i'm going to cook it i'll add in my bay leaf the amount of bay leaf I'll be adding okay then I'll add my clothes you can use a teaspoon of clothes half teaspoon of clothes just it depends on you so I'm just eyeballing because I'm using one hand to frame and one hand to measure then I'll slice my onions and ripe so I'm sliding my ginger I try for it, but seriously. a cup of water that's what we have our line needs to boil for 10 to 15 minutes and we'll pour it on my hair so guys this is our recipe it's all cooled down okay i like it to cool down then we'll strain i have my strainer here i'll strain it Do not smell bad. Mm. I thought it would smell bad. So I'm going to do it like plenty times on my hair. Then I'll try it away. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I'm feeling um some sensation. Wow. This is nice. I am done. This thing is giving me this sensation, okay? So, which is good in my in my scalp. I am done. I want to go and braid my hair. So, I'll see you guys in my next challenge. Don't forget to stay subscribed to the channel for more DIY videos like this. Let me know in your thoughts in the comment section. Have you tried? using this hair to see before let me allow it to dry okay on my hair and i'll apply my condition my oils then i'll braid my hair that is why it's a hair tea so when you pour it on your hair please don't rinse it out don't rinse it out allow it to get dry on your hair you use your condition your living condition and your oil and your butter that's it so i'll see you guys in the next one